Hello, this is Joe Walensky, Program Manager for ConveyUX, Seattle's annual user experience conference that is coming up February 28, March 1 and March 2, and I'm having the opportunity to speak to another one of our presenters. Today I'm talking with Sarah Fortier. How are you doing, Sarah? Where are you speaking to us from? I'm good. I'm uh, speaking to you from Ottawa, Canada. It's uh, covered in snow here. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, it's good day to uh, have you with us today. Uh, you know, we just uh, finished up watching the uh, Seattle Sounders beat the uh, Toronto FC Club in the in the football championship. So that was kind of fun to watch. But yeah. uh, today we want to talk a little bit about you, and uh, you'll be contributing to our event. So maybe we could start with uh, you talking a little bit about your background and the types of things that you're involved in for work. Yeah, so um, I am actually have like my formal background is in industrial design and uh, so like designing 3D products and you know as many of us sort of meander in our careers I moved over to UX after I did my, my master's in interdisciplinary design and uh, I started working at a consulting firm doing uh, UX work, research and design and from there moved out to California. So I was working in the San Francisco Bay Area, Silicon Valley for, you know, almost four years, I guess. And uh, I got to, you know, lead projects and work for great clients like AT&T and Apple and Microsoft. And then I moved over to Mode Media and I was their UX director there uh, for, I guess, two, about two years. And I was able to sort of lead their design and research team and really craft what they um, their entire kind of research process because when I got there they had nothing which I'm sure many people can relate to um, and then I, I moved back to Canada to my hometown to start at my own company out Whitley which is a design think tank and I work with clients to um, sort of transform their businesses using design and research methods that we have been using in the tech world for a while now. Uh, so I work with companies on, you know, transforming company culture and improving their um, processes and then also doing a lot of customer experience design and moving more into that systems perspective that many UXers I think are really inept or uh, um, good at doing anyway. <laughs> so so that's, really, that's my background. Well, it sounds like you've been uh, pretty, pretty Busy it makes me yeah. tired just thinking about all the things that you've been talking about that you've been involved in in a short amount of time. But uh, you know, beyond the the uh, things that you mentioned, your background is there anything that uh, you're working on right now? Thinking about big thoughts, new ideas, topic areas uh, that you might want to share with us. Yeah, well, I've always been really obsessed with systems thinking, as I was just sort of talking about, and I and I in my thesis work during my master's, I uh, did a lot of research on how to create really consistent experiences across touch points. And I, um, you know, was really lucky I got to interview all these fantastic professionals. Uh, and, you know, the, the classic example is always Apple about the different touch points that they offer. And there's so many more companies doing amazing things now, like David's Tea, they're a Canadian brand. And if you think of their uh, packaging and their website and just the in-store experience and even what they call and name their little teas. So, you know, looking at um, customer experiences across the entire system is really exciting for me. And then another component of that is just visualizing that information because I think so many times we hand off these PDF reports that we found out, you know, great insights on from our research and then no one reads them and that information becomes lost like three months later. And so I'm really passionate about learning the best ways to visualize information so that people get really excited, they want to share it and send it to their coworkers, and then it's not forgotten down the line. So that's been my latest um, obsession. Well, uh, why don't we talk a little bit about uh, the work that you're going to do at the conference. So you're going to be uh, 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 presenting one of our half-day workshops, which takes place on the first day of the conference, and uh, those are three and a half hour long activities that are included with the uh, full conference pass. And the title of your uh, workshop is North Star Principles, 
creating a vision for UX and product development. So uh, maybe talk a little bit about uh, you know where the idea for that this workshop came from and what people could expect to learn from it. Yeah. So um, actually, the idea I initially sort of struck me when I was doing my my thesis work, which was like six years ago now, um, but it's still been super relevant. And the idea behind it was that there's there's sort of the high level vision that companies have, right? And then there's might be the design guiding principles, that, which are more at the micro level. But it always seemed like there was nothing in between to sort of bridge that high level vision that the executives are like love and they know how to use and versus the design principles which is really uh, focused on you know the actual what does this button look like what does this page look like and um, I was finding as I was working with product teams and stuff that sometimes the priorities would just change uh, you know like Instagram stories are out we need to change our direction do video and there's like wait I thought we were doing like the design of the dashboard for the last three weeks is that we're completely tossed out and so that became really frustrating and a kind of a reoccurring thing that I noticed with a lot of the clients that I would work with or when I was working at an in-house product um, team. So, so I kind of came up with this I idea of creating these North Star principles that does bridge this gap so that it's the stakeholders and the executives are really on board with it, but it's super relatable and tangible and you can figure out how you would actually operationalize those principles into what it does it look like now in the product um, so that's kind of the background of how I got there well it sounds like it's gonna be an interesting activity and uh, so I'm sure uh, a lot of people at the conference will uh, enjoy participating in that as one of the four uh, half-day workshops we're going to have uh, in the morning, and then we also have uh, four in the afternoon. So uh, it, was, it was good chatting with you, and uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, here in Seattle. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, thanks a lot, Sarah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.